So what were, when you, you said you traveled to Tampa and it was difficult mm -hmm. because you had to stay on the bus for two days, were there any other situations like that where you just couldn't get off the bus because you were in a city that wasn't favorable toward blacks? Yeah, well, you know, it's, a lot of them were like that, though. But like Greenville, it was either Greenville, Mississippi, right out of Memphis, Tennessee. Um, we didn't have nowhere to stay there either and nowhere to eat. And all we could get was some watermelons, you know. And, <laughs> and then we'd go to the ballpark and, you know, and, and just hang out and eat some watermelon until the game time. Mm -hmm. I'll never forget that, you know. And... Uh, um, Sometimes you had to be careful, buckle nail, see now, like especially we'd be going to gas up at night, and like there'd always be four or five white people around them gas station. He'd always say, well now, you guys just stay in the bus and I'll go out and, you know, don't want a whole bunch of us outside, just cool it, you know, mm -hmm. because you never know what allowed to happen, you know. Mm -hmm. And just like I say with that watermelon deal there, we had to go to the ice house to get our melons. The old guy come out shuffling. And what do you boys want, you know? <laughs> they miss you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You had to be careful back then in the 50s, yeah. Even though you had probably how many people on the bus? 20 people? Mm, we had about 20, yeah, 20 in a ball club. But you never know. Uh, but I, uh, it, like I say, whenever we go to gas up down south, it'd always be four or five white people around there, you know, maybe just looking for trouble. Mm -hmm. So you, we just, you know, Bucket always tell us, uh, you guys stay in the bus and I'll take care of it. Yeah. Well, how was playing in those cities? What was their setting? Oh, good. Did? Yeah, no, no problem. No problem. Uh, we was in uh, right outside of Atlanta, Georgia, and uh, the white folks uh, sat on the first base side and blacks sat on the third base side. And... Uh, I heard some clumpy, clumpy, clump. I didn't know what in the world was going on. And there was about 12 white horses, and there was 12 guys on, the, on these horses with the hoods over there. Oh. And they sat up in the stands the whole game. With the hoods over there? Absolutely. I'll never forget that either. Yeah. Yes, sir. -y. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get something like that, yeah. But the North wasn't much better, you know. You know, it, it I mean, you, we, you know, it, it was prejudice everywhere back then. Mm -hmm. Yeah.